Good morning, everybody. It's Michael the Maven. Today, I am going to demonstrate different preamp noises from different camera manufacturers. We're gonna do a little test. All I want you to do is listen and grade the sounds on a scale of one to five, with one being terrible and five being outstanding. Now, the history behind this was I wasn't even aware of it for the first couple years I was on YouTube and until somebody pointed it out to me, and since that time, we've been super careful to clean up everything we publish. Right now I'm speaking on a Sennheiser E100. We're not gonna clean it up. I want you to try to hear that hiss in the background. And I'm doing this because even if you have an outstanding microphone and you, have, you plug it into a bad preamp, you're going to hear this noise. So by the end of the video, you should be able to hear it and even notice the differences between cameras. In order to clean it up, I've already posted a video. I'll put that link in the description and we have some future videos coming about noise for video and how to create better audio. One of the reasons I'm doing this is because a couple days ago I had a promotion on my brand new Maven Mini microphone kit and they sold out in 90 minutes. I thought I had enough for a couple weeks. So this is the first of a series of videos that will help my customers get the best audio possible using that microphone. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is preamps. So a couple things I want to demonstrate real quick is the difference between having no cleanup. So right now I'm just talking, I'm within a foot of the microphone of the GH5. You can hear my voice nice and clean, right? There's a little bit of hiss in the background. You could probably still hear it, but I want to demonstrate a couple things. The first of which is I'm going to back up 10 feet and I'm going to continue to talk and we're going to increase the gain so you can hear the difference between the signal to noise ratio. So now I'm 10 feet away from the camera, voice is obviously further away, and the signal to noise ratio changes, so when we add a boost, you can hear that the audio quality is terrible. And that's one of the lessons I want you to pull away, is that when you're using a microphone, the closer you can get it to a person's mouth, the better. In this next portion, we are going to clean up the audio in between the dead spaces of me talking right now, and what I want you to do is to listen to the noise gain as I am speaking. And this is a very common mistake that YouTubers will clean up the dead space in between their words, but they won't clean it up while they're speaking. And to me, it's like nails on a chalkboard. In this last example, this is what it sounds like when it's cleaned up completely, both in the dead spaces as well as when I'm talking. And because the signal to noise ratio is strong enough and we can clean that noise out, it is pretty much acceptable audio. I'm close enough to the camera. Camera microphones are not that good, but if you get your face really close to them, it can work out. So in any event, that is the preamp test. Now you know what preamp noise is. You can tell the difference between multiple cameras. I also talked about the distance to improve your signal to noise ratio and the differences between a good cleanup and a bad cleanup. If you guys are interested in these kinds of videos to improve your video shooting experiences, I would love to earn your subscription. Check out the link on the Maven Mini Mic. We'll have more coming soon. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.